Hello once again. Uh, today's topic arterial blood gases. It is a blood test performed on a sample of blood taken from an artery. Venous blood cannot be used. It is vital to patients' management in critical areas such as ICU and emergency departments. It measures pH, partial pressure of carbon dioxide, partial pressure of oxygen, oxygen saturation, and bicarbonate. Before we try to understand the terms that were used in previous slide, we need to understand what is ventilation, what is perfusion, and what is diffusion, and also what is partial pressure. This is a sketch of uh, an alveolus, the functional unit of lung. Each lung is made up of millions of alveoli, balloon-shaped structures. So this is the lining of uh, alveoli made up of pneumocytes type 1 and type 2 cells. Type 2 cells produce surfactant, so there should be some surfactant here and there will be some macrophages uh, as well. The area is filled with air. The alveoli are surrounded by capillaries. The red things are representing red blood cells. This is interstitium. The area between alveoli and the capillary is known as interstitium. Uh, the alveolar capillary membrane is made up of the lining of alveoli, the lining of the capillaries, and the interstitial space, uh, the interstitial space, and there should be a base membrane here, and there should be a base membrane here as well. Ventilation is supply of fresh air to lungs or alveoli of lungs. Perfusion is pumping of blood into a tissue through capillary pack. Diffusion is the transportation of molecules from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration and partial pressure. In a mixture of gases, each gas has a partial pressure which is the pressure which the gas would have if it alone occupied the volume. The total pressure of uh, a gas mixture is the sum of partial pressures of each individual gas in the mixture. Now ventilation and perfusion can mismatch because of a number of reasons and will be sh uh, will be indicated by the arterial blood gases. The say for example a patient is suffering from pneumonia and we know in pneumonia the alveoli of lungs are filled with exudates which can be blood which can be pus or which can be a fluid so the ventilation is disrupted it doesn't really matter how much perfusion is there how much blood is passing through the alveoli the oxygen won't be absorbed by the blood because alveoli simply do not have oxygen the perfusion on the other hand, say for example a patient is suffering from pulmonary embolism, there is no blood supply to the uh, capillaries. It doesn't really matter how much oxygen is coming into the alveoli. It won't be absorbed by the blood because there is no blood passing through. Diffusion, say for example a patient is suffering from a disease of interstitium then it uh, dis it would disturb the diffusion the oxygen won't be able to pass through the alveolar capillary membrane and the carbon dioxide won't be able to to come into the the alveolar space air space here so ph ph is the measurement of number of hydrogen ions in any liquid which defines if the liquid is too acidic or alkaline the ranges are 0 to 14 liquids on either ends are corrosive like sulfuric acid very low pH or caustic soda very high pH both are corrosive pH of water is 7 which means neutral and that is why addition of water in any other fluid decreases acidity or alkalinity of the fluid anything below 7 is acidic and higher than 7 is alkaline addition of a base to acid or vice versa in correct proportion will make the solution neutral pH of blood if it is lower than 6.8 acidosis or higher than 7.8 which means alkalosis is considered fatal pH of human blood should normally be between 7.35 to 
it means uh, the blood is a little bit towards alkaline side because pH is more than 7. Partial pressure of carbon dioxide. This measures how much carbon dioxide is dissolved in blood and how well carbon dioxide is able to move out of the body. Ventilation is assessed by partial pressure of carbon dioxide. Partial pressure of oxygen. Oxygenation is assessed by partial pressure of oxygen. Oxygen dissolved in plasma is measured as partial pressure of oxygen. This measures the pressure of oxygen dissolved in plasma and shows how well oxygen is able to move from alveoli of lungs into the blood. Remember partial pressure of oxygen is the pressure of oxygen dissolved in plasma and not the oxygen attached to hemoglobin. Oxygen dissolved in plasma only constitutes 2 to 3 percent of oxygen transported by the body. Oxygen saturation is the amount of oxygen attached to hemoglobin. It is measured as percentage. It is the relationship between the amount that is carried by the blood and the potential that blood has to carry. It should ideally be 100 percent means if blood has the ability to carry a certain amount of oxygen it should be carrying 100 percent of that amount but it uh, is usually between 92 to 98 percent anything above 92 percent is considered normal acidosis and alkalosis acid base status is assessed with ph partial pressure of carbon dioxide and bicarbonate increased uh, partial pressure of carbon dioxide in arterial blood means acidosis carbon dioxide is an acid increased in bicarbonate in arterial blood represents alkalosis bicarbonate is uh, a base acid base uh, balance is a reflection of hydrogen ions in blood acid when dissolved in any fluid releases hydrogen ions versus base absorbs hydrogen ions carbon dioxide forms carbonic acid in blood which means more hydrogen ions which means low pH means acidosis these hydrogen ions are neutralized or absorbed by bicarbonate and the acid base balance thus remains normal the normal values of arterial blood gases pH should be 7.35 to 7.45 Partial pressure of oxygen should be between 80 to 100 millimeter of mercury. Partial pressure of carbon dioxide should be between 35 to 45 millimeter of mercury. Bicarbonate should be between 22 to 26 milli equivalent uh, per liter. And oxygen saturation should be between 92 to 98 percent. The lecture is uh, prepared for www.academyofprofessionals.com and these are the references thank you very much